What's up everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents episode 18. Today, today we're gonna go fight some pirates. That's what I've been told. Let's be off, thank you again. We're gonna go fight some pirates. I mean, I guess last time we did learn about the Abyssal Cult and Lugia and all that, but I feel like what's more important are pirates. It's a pirate's life for me, or rather, taking out some pirates. Uh, hey, what are you doing here? We're robbing this place fair and square. Xavier made me hate Mega Beedrill. Oh my gosh, Xavier was a, was a tough one. Burglar Dennis would like to battle. Hey, at least he's wearing a mask. Good for him. Ampom coming on out. This becomes the part of the stream where I go, Hey, what are you weak to, Ampom? You're a fighting type. Are you weak to fighting? You're telling me we finally have a Pokemon that would be weak to Anubis when I don't have Anubis with us anymore? <sighs> finally, when Anubis would be useful. Anubis would finally be useful. Um, only immune to ghost. Not actually resistant to anything. Hey, good to know. Not resistant to anything. The moveset in this game is too convenient. Bum, bum. Special attack has arisen. Our special offense has risen. Just because I don't know what else this person's going to have. We might as well just set up a calm mind before we go mega. Go for a moon blast. Got a blast. Into I don't how many uh, how many pirates are we fighting? I don't know. That's the other thing. It depends on how many pirates are going to be here. Our pirate adventure. The other tough one was uh uh shoot east was kind of tough. Also, I just realized Peck hasn't been here all day. Yeah, they're continue. Yeah, yeah, you're a little far behind Peck. Now Peck's just going to say hi to everyone because Peck hasn't been here all day. Spyro gets a low XP. Spyro goes up to level 39. Oh, you only had one Pokemon. I wasn't paying attention when we started this battle. Alright, Peck, how long are you going to say hi to uh, the Outlaw? I'm so I'm so happy you're saying hello to the Outlaw. Peck, are you, are you okay, buddy? Peck might be a little broken. Peck might be a little broken. Alright, Peck, you can take the night off. Peck's a little broken. Oh, oh. I was lucky to have a champ in my cargo versus the fifth gym. My fairy types were at a disadvantage. How many... I can't... What? East is technically, what, the, the third gym leader? Yeah, so we've only technically taken on... With to have level 50 Pokemon is wild. Um, and only have three gym badges. I'd say Insurgents is one of the easier fan games at the moment. A lot of ways to cheese the battle on the end is generally just really bad. I ain't got no tagline. Let's just battle. What would you say is the hardest uh, fan game at the moment? Is it Radical Red? I know a lot of people are playing Radical Red. I will eventually be playing Radical Red. I'm actually going to be looking into that later today. Um, not to stream. I won't be streaming it because, listen, you, as you see from stuff like this, I am not a great Pokemon player. I want to one day be a great Pokemon player, but I'm just not there yet. Um, but with that, I will be doing uh, a YouTube series, and it will not be a Nuzlocke. Radical Red is not the hardest for sure. What's what's the hardest right now? Because I know... Uh, I'm just not super in the know with a lot of uh, fan-made games right now. Which is sad, because I wish I was more... I'm just not a very good PokeTuber. Critical hit. Super effective. Hubris boost my special attack. Alright, coming in with another Weevil. We will stay in. We will not go for a heal. It's going to exert pressure. It also is going to outspeed us. We're just going to hope we survive it. Yeah. I was like, I feel like we can we can take at least one hit. And we'll Hyper Potion out of battle. Bobby goes up to level 53. Trying to learn Psycho Boost. Nah. Nah. Nah, dude. Um. No, I just said no. I said don't learn Psycho Boost. Yes. I probably would have won if I had a tagline. Honestly, my dude, if you would have had a tagline, you would have defeated me in the first 20 seconds of this battle. It's all about that tagline, you know? Hyper Potion. I do need to buy some more healing items as well, though. Uh, when you get to... When you get used to a Surgis's AIs, you'll notice that all the Pokemon's deployed versus you are the ones with the setup moves, like Spikes or Stealth Rocks. True. 
that just from like saying that I'm like you know what that is true a anytime it's always that yeah during like key battles for sure rejuvenation uh, insane mode is the hardest but insane mode is main to be absurd the regular mode is easier I would say either Pokemon desolation or Pokemon reborn those are the harder games but they are games they there are games that are unfair like dark rise and Casio what would you say um you seem to be pretty knowledgeable about fan-made games. What, what's the next fan-made game I should try? I should look to stream after Insurgents? Whoa, I'm just out here to steal some stuff. I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. You should be feeling pretty attacked right now, considering I am coming in here to attack you. Literally attack you. Gigalith. Good ol' uh, Gigalith. Um, Gigalith weak to ground, steel, grass, and fighting Momo would be great here. Oh, did not mean to calm mine. Didn't mean to calm mine. Definitely didn't mean to do that. Hey, look, there are those stealth rocks you're talking about. I did not mean to calm mine. I meant to immediately switch. Depends on what you're looking for in the next game. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I've, I've looked into Uranium before. I feel like something that kind of turns me off to some games is, is uh, Fake Mon. Uh, do you want a harder game than Insurgent? It's a shorter game, a longer game. Uh, length, don't super care for. As far as difficulty goes, um, I don't know. I don't think I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm necessarily looking for something, a, a good story. I really enjoy a good story in a Pokemon game, which I feel like Insurgents has a pretty solid story. A complete game. Let me, let me do that. A complete fan-made game. Because I have looked into some fan-made games, and I'm like, oh, this sounds really cool, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, they haven't worked on this in, like, multiple years, and it has no ending. <clears throat> Spyro goes to level 40. Momo gains some XP. Sandstorm is still raging. About to come in with Ninjask. Bum, ba -dum. Ice Electric. Stealth Rocks and that being up is going to hurt us. Fire is also here. Uh, we'll just come in with Rice. If you can get through the game... Uh, you're a little late on that one, Indigo. Just a little late on that one. Uh, Reborn is top-notch. It's complete as well. So when you say if you can get through the game, is that because uh, you said Reborn is a tough one? Because you said it's a, it's a harder game. Bye, Ninjask. Thanks for playing. And Uranium is fairly short. The Timer Ball. If you actually go back onto my YouTube channel, unless I've hidden all the videos at this point because I never finished it, I did start a Uranium playthrough. Uh, but again, I did not make it very far in that playthrough. Still full health. Starting to like Wobbuffet and his cheesy movie move set. Ah, oh, I said movie set. Oh, wow, a kid. I guess I should just turn myself in. Not. Reborn is fairly tough. You can get through it, but on your first run, it'll be a lot of trial and error. I'm really good at trial and error. Okay, so here, here's the follow-up for that. Does Reborn have a uh, an easy grind? Does Reborn have an easy grind? Because, like, Insurgents, which I just learned about, um, like, actually a couple streams ago... Uh, learned about Insurgents is pretty uh, easy grind in a base system with the level up and you just go in there and, and they just die for you. You can't have the same six Pokemon through. I'm actually kind of okay with that. We've kind of been doing that for our Insurgents run for a little bit. There are some Pokemon that I think are going to stay for the full run, like Delta Venusaur and uh, Swampert. But, like, we switched in uh, the, uh, our Delta Guardivore to get that Ice Moves. Uh, we now we switched out Anubis for now. May come back later. I don't know. It does. It's worse than Insurgents, but it's still pretty easy to grind. Okay, because that's that's my big thing about Pokemon, and I know it's like a main part of Pokemon is dr grinding just gets so tedious sometimes. I don't want it to just give it to me, but like sometimes, I'm like man, I need like three more levels to do something here. I'm just like this is so tedious. You fight me? <laughs> what a joke. I'm the boss man here. You wouldn't stand a chance. You haven't even fought my grunts. How do I even know you're worth my time? You wouldn't last five... Oh, are there still some grunts I've missed? Maybe outside? Because I got the dude who was over here. 
there isn't anywhere else. There, there must be someone I missed outside. Quick save. Fought that dude. Yeah, there's gotta be someone I missed outside. Uh, I've also been working on a living decks as well. So we're currently playing through, we're on generation four right now. And we need to continue that. And the reason that's been slowed down is because I need to grind in Pokemon Platinum. And I just haven't had, just haven't had the, the drive to actually sit down and do it. But I need to do it because I, I want to continue it because I want to finish up Platinum soon. Because once uh, Shining, uh, Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond come out, I'm going to want to stream those. Because I'm really excited to play the remakes. But I don't want to like finish it and the next day start that. So I do need to start that soon. Also, if you are interested, I do have a Pokemon D&D campaign going on. Thanks for the plug, Indigo. Um, it's typically bi-weekly, but due to a lot of stuff that's just happened in some of the players... Uh, lives, including my own, it's been kind of tough to schedule it recently, so we've been kind of going a little bit more loosely on how often episodes come out. Hopefully that does change soon. Uh, but we do have 34 episodes for you to go watch right now. Uh, I tend to keep episodes less than two hours. I tend, an hour and a half is a sweet spot for an episode. Of Pokemon D&D, it's three trainers, uh, eventually joined by a fourth, who go undercover for Team Rocket. They work for Team Rocket, but go un undercover in the Kanto Pokemon League. Uh, and chaos does ensue. It's a lot of fun. Reborn is all about adjusting yourself and your team to turn your opponent's gimmicks against them. So, would you say you have to be reborn multiple times throughout the game? I don't know. I, 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 this is not the first time I've heard uh, Reborn mentioned. So, I may have to add that to my lap. Not me what we look into next. Because I am all for a challenge. Like, I'm, I'm for it. Will I do great at it? Probably not. But honestly, I think that's the great part, is all about learning. Because I, I wish I could say I was like some of the giant Poketubers who, uh, and streamers that like just go, Oh, well this Pokemon right here, this is what their type effect is, is that. I could do that for some of Generation 1, but after that I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, what is, what is Weevil Week 2? We've all, okay, they're weak to, oh, okay, good, 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 good to know. I do need to buy Hyper Potions. When I get back to town, I need to buy a lot of healing items, because I haven't bought healing items in a while. Huh, <laughs> that's right, I'm the boss man here. Tell me, kid, do you really think you stand a chance? I've been looting and plundering since you were just a wee babe. Bring it on, we'll never clear out of the trade outpost. What if I beat you in Pokemon? What if I beat you? You only have one Pokemon, Derek? Oh, it's gotta be like a level 50 or maybe even 70 Pokemon. A Haxorus. It's only level 48. Okay, that's all you got is a level 48 Haxorus. That's weak to Ice Fairy and Dragon. Okay, not a, not a great play on your part, my dude. I go for Dragon Dance. Dragon dance, dragon dance. It's almost time for your dragon to sleep. More like hacks or sus. Super sus. I can catch the next mon. Who is it? A delta? We about to see a delta? All right, still asleep, still asleep, still asleep. All right, we'll go for it this turn. Because we're, I'm also pretty sure we would have like done a lot of damage to it anyways with the blast. Because it's weak to fairy anyways. But now we'll, we'll probably one-shot it. If we don't one-shot it, I'll go... Oh, wow, I thought we would have one-shot it. That's what'll happen if we don't one-shot it. Oh, it woke up! Oh, no! Why'd you have to wake up, Haxorus? Early on my solo run, I had to stall with work up against Edge Slash King Shield. King Shield is pretty annoying. <laughs> And thanks for that sweet XP, uh, Derek. Oh, you scallywag. Oh, you scallywag. Oh, how? You can't beat me. The boss said I have to protect him so nobody finds out. Oh, shoot. I just spilled the beans, didn't I? The real boss didn't want anyone finding out. Ah, uh, fine. Go ahead and face the boss. If he can lead our little group from behind the scenes as a Pokemon... What? He could take you out. <laughs> what? The boss is... Oh! Ooh, it's a Delta. It is a Delta. Um, It is indeed a Delta. 
All right. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen here. So it is a Delta Axew. Delta Axew, tell me about you. It looks like a shark. It's a it's it's a tiger shark Pokemon. Tiger shark Pokemon. That's amazing. Uh, type effectiveness. It's weak to grass and electric, which we we don't. It's resistant to water, ice, fire, and steel. Uh, if we can try and put it to sleep and try and just damage it a little bit, that'd be nice. We are gonna have a quick save, and we, you know what? We even do a full save right in front of it. We won't just quick save. We'll full save. All right. If we can put it to sleep. Also, how does it lead you? How does it lead you if it can't speak? <clears throat> oh, it's only level 35. That's not great. That it's only level 35. That's not great for us. Although, actually... Be a great time to go to... Our lower level Spyro, who's also fire flying. And it is resistant to fire... Uh, it's not resistant to flying. It's damaged normally by fire flying, but it is resistant to fire. <clears throat> it is a very cute design, though. It is a very cute design. Okay, that's some that's some that's some solid damage there. <clears throat> and then when we're ready to catch it, we will uh, switch back into Bulby and put it to sleep again. Because I doubt it will stay asleep. Yeah, I was like, I doubt it will stay asleep this whole time. Flame charge. Man, you know what? If we hit it one more time, we might kill it. If we hit it one more time, we might kill it. Hey, someone give me a solid name for this. He turns into a water steel type. Someone give me, like, a shark adjacent name. Alright, uh, low enough I feel like that it will at least uh, hypno it and try and do something. Jaws? Jaws is pretty good. Call him Spyro? Have two Spyros would be perfect. I don't know if we'll use this at all, but it would be pretty nice to have. <clears throat> Throw an Ultra Ball. Jaws is good. I like Jaws. We'll go with Jaws. Oh, I sped up the game. Don't worry about that. I didn't mean to speed up the game. I muted to cough, uh, and I accidentally sped up the game. A Delta species discovered by No Name Dummy. It takes large bites out of docked boats, forcing local fishermen to invest in boats made of extremely strong metal. Uh, he is really good. Oh, it... That's nice. Which you said, a water... Turns into a water steel. That's pretty solid. Jaws was transferred to someone's PC. It was stored in box one. We'll have to move it to our Delta box. And they have all cleared out. They've all gone bye-bye. So we can go back to the sailor and be like, Hey, we cleared out your island. We also caught a super cool Pokemon. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you that you should still give me a reward for doing this. Oh, wait. Well, this wasn't here before, was it? Maybe it was there before and I just didn't notice it. I don't think the super repel was there before. I think I would have noticed it. Cool little side quest. It is a cool little side quest. That honestly has been one of my... Has been something I've loved about Insurgents. It's just it's little side quests. Wow, you found what was attracting all them thieves and pirates to Medin. A Pokemon? A Delta Pokemon? Oh, shiver me timbers. I would have never guessed. Listen, I owe you one. Let me pay you for your trouble. Uh, 3,000 Pokedogs. I'll take it. Shall I take it back to the mainland? I'll take it. I'll take 3,000 Pokedollars. A wild Dugong. Dugong, Dugong. If you want to catch it, exclamation point, catch Dugong. Dugong, Dugong. Man, we should teach Fly to Spyro so that way we can just fly back to the Pokemon Center and I don't have to, like, swim around. Would that be too much? I mean, Fly is a pretty good move anyways. Can we even use it outside of battle? I don't even know if you can. <clears throat> what? You're telling me... You're telling me only Spyro can learn it? You're telling me Delta Venusaur can't learn Fly? Um, two turn attack, blades of wings, blade of wings, critical hits land more. That's rare, is it? Silver could not catch it, and Dugong, ah, uh, you need a fourth badge. Dang, that sucks. 
Oh well, still a decent move to have for them anyways. I'm just trying to be lazy. Still a decent move for them to have nonetheless. Alright, so we need to head back to the Pokemon Center. And we need to buy up some healing items. Because uh, I keep saying it, and if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. No, wait, I need to go this way? Yeah, I need to go this way. Hi, Pika Taxi. I don't know why you're down there, Pika Taxi. I feel like you should be somewhere more easily accessible. But you know what? You Pika Taxi, I won't determine what you do. That would be very rude of me. So, um, Where's the Pokemon Center at again? Oh, it was straight down. It was straight down. That's where it was. Bum, bum, bum. I loved this pirate side quest, though. This pirate side quest was honestly just an absolute great time here. How many pirate? 49 is how many I can buy. Now I'll buy like 20. Because I also want to buy up a couple revives just so we have some on us. As we save up, uh, as we earn up more money and all that stuff, it'd be great to buy 12 just to have them on us. Uh, Super Repel, how many do we have? We have one. Just for when we go, I really don't want to deal with Pokemon right now. Oh, or we can buy a Max Repel. Or we can buy a Max Repel. Dang. Really messed that one up. Really messed that one up. It's not often that I go, I don't want to deal with Pokemon, but there are some times I don't want to deal with that. I think my first Railer Nuzlocke, I get up to, to d -Ran Town and I lost to a boss fight. That, that's actually kind of impressive, though, for your first one that you made it that far. Which, especially when it's not randomized, you can do more insight and, and planning. Alright, so... With that uh, side quest completed in Myra Town here, which is kind of just an in-between town, the Whirl Islands are down there. I don't know if that's something we do now. I feel like that's where Abyssal Cult, where she was going, but I do know Santia City is the next city we are heading to to meet up with Damien. So it seems like we're to... I don't I feel like with the stormy season all that I feel like that's probably later and we need it we need the next badge so that way we can use a dive outside of battle I feel like we'll probably need dive to deal with the world islands and all that um so we'll figure that out next time but YouTube thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed more Pokemon Insurgents with a fun little side quest and speaking of that side quest I do need to move um I do need to move Jaws over to where they're supposed to go because um, they do not live in box one. They live over here in our Delta. In our Delta place. Delta Pokemon. Uh, so far of the Delta designs, Delta Axew I think is my favorite. Delta Axew definitely is my favorite. YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.